What up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls PvP. Actually, not really Dark Souls PvP because this will be the first the first video to hopefully something that turns into a series of videos over the time. Uh, a series that is called The Battle of the Uploaders. Uh, no idea who actually made that idea, who actually came up with the idea of the Battle of the Uploaders, but it's basically um, yeah, set up matches against somebody else who's uploading videos or who is streaming. So this right here is obviously me versus my German brother from another mother, Suicide Frog. Both German players on Dark Souls. Uh, we met in the Darker Souls chat. Uh, you probably know him from some of the Dark Project Mayhem videos. Uh, he's got a really <laughs> interesting reputation, you could say. And he's a very good, very good player. Uh, you saw in the intro he got me pretty good with a nice, nice combo. So... Yeah, I've been hanging around the Darker Souls chat for quite some time by now. Uh, having duels with all sorts of people. And actually that was a missed parry, damn it. Oh, repost, more like repost. And yeah, we were usually working together on some of the Dark Project Mayhem videos and... That was actually a very nice parry. Uh, just can't finish my sentence here. Lost the track. Oh yeah, so we never really came into uh, came to the opportunity to, to have some fights. I mean, we've met every now and then for single fights, but never did we really say, "Okay, man, let's have let's have some duels." That never happened before. So since I'm doing videos and he's doing videos. We decided, okay man, let's let's do this. And yeah, here it is. Finally. It took me some time to find the motivation to do this video. I don't know why exactly, because actually I'm really I was really looking forward to make this video. Because it is my first battle of the uploaders, hopefully not my last. At least for for now, it is not. I have one more in, in the making, which will be a little bit different. Uh, some of you know what I'm talking about. Uh, some of you people from the from the chat know what I'm talking about when I say it's a little bit different. And for those of you who don't know, uh, well, just wait until you see it. I'm gonna upload it very soon. Just wait for for the other guy to to finish the video so that we can have them both uploaded at the same time, around the same time. Uh, I, th I don't think I'm gonna do that with Frog and I will, I will address him as Frog throughout the video so just in case don't get confused by that. Uh, Frog doesn't usually do commentary. Well, I say don't usually. He, he never does commentary. And I think he never will do commentary. So he's more of a... Well, a, a montage guy, you could say. Which is okay. I personally prefer commentary. It's just more enjoyable to watch for me. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably not be doing something like let's upload at the same time because his video if if he makes a video will be a lot different from this one and yeah I was really looking forward to fighting him on the other hand I was a little bit uh, afraid that he would just uh, dominate me throughout these fights but actually it turned out to be pretty much even which surprised me. 
because he's he's a very very good player. Uh, I think the reason why I could keep up with him is because of this build that I'm using. I've never used this build before. You've never seen. Well, I have used it before, but I've but I haven't showcased the build yet. And I don't think I will showcase it. Instead, I will take this video as an opportunity to showcase it. Uh, but first, let's talk about Frog's build. It's his 40 strength, 45 dex pyro build. Uh, we were both around soul level 120, so you can pretty much guess that with a 40, 45 and pyro build. Also, he's fast rolling the whole time. You can tell there has to be some sort of uh, weak weak point to this build and the first thing you notice is he uses the wolf ring a lot so he doesn't have that much of, of armor you could say and basically as a consequence his defense is also rather low so I can deal some really good damage with most of my attacks so yeah, it's a. You could not. I'm not saying it's a weak build, but it is. Uh, well, what can you say? Yeah, you, really, you have to be really careful with this build that he's using, because it has some really good potential for the offense, but the defense is, is really low. So it's certainly an advanced build. It has it has really good potential for for damaging you. You know those pyromancies always hurt since they have no scaling property. But those 40, 45 weapons they have full scaling. They have full physical power. So that's pretty much the best you can do because a physical Weapon with full scaling will always out damage an elemental weapon. And you see him bringing a lot of different weapons, even the Murakumo, and still fast rolling, so he has a, a good amount of um, endurance. Still the 40, 45, like I said, some attunement, a lot of HP. So this build must have some sort of weakness and that is obvious with the defense, the armor, it's it's just how it is. On the other hand, like I said, the, uh, the potential for dealing damage is extremely high. And I think that's pretty much the reason why I could keep up with him, I think if we both used the same build he would he would win most of the fights I I think it's just that something that if you pay attention to the gameplay you will notice that he toggles a lot and I don't <laughs> that's, that's something you will notice right away also a lot of reverse rolls and unlocked play into dead angles that is certainly something I need to get better with, still need to get better with. Uh, throughout these fights, I noticed I got a little bit more used to it. I got a few more toggles. I don't know if any of that gameplay will actually be in this video, because we had quite a few matches, but obviously I'm not going to include every single fight in here. And that fireball, man, that unlocked fireball saved my ass actually, so it kind of backfired there. Alright, so my build. This build is. Uh, it is awesome, I love it. I love this build, it's, it's great. But I don't even know what kind of build it is actually. Uh, you see me using a lot of elemental weapons, lightning and chaos just for the variety. And also a few physical weapons, so if you paid attention you would 
you would be realizing that the physical weapons I use are strength weapons. So this build has 40 in strength. I don't know how much vitality, I think 45 or maybe even 50. Uh, 16 in dexterity, just so I can use a lot of weapons. And 70 endurance. Now this build only rocks 42 poise, so that's 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 okay. The defense is also pretty good. It's somewhere around 380, I think. So it is decent. Yeah, I'm using only a small shield. I think it goes pretty good with the looks of the armor. And I just like the, the target shield and the butler. It's, it's pretty cool. And actually, that looked like the parry. But, well, you can't win them all, you can't win them all. So yeah, so the Man Serpent Greatsword, like I said. One of the few physical weapons that I use. And actually I just left this clip in as uh, kind of a payback for that intro where he fucked me up really hard. <laughs> Yeah, so what kind of build is this? I have no idea. Is it a strength build with a lot of endurance or... I think that pretty much hits it. Oh, and he hits the parry, man. That's gonna hurt. Oh yeah. I mean, that Murakumo has full scaling, so... It's gonna be pretty bad. So, you see me using pretty decent armor, not really heavy armor, but like I said, 70 in endurance, and as a result I have a weapon burden of, I think, 23 or 24. I think it's 23 because uh, I think I cannot fast roll with, uh, for example, a demon... Uh, not a, a dragon great sword, and actually that gets me <laughs> the red tear stone fire sword. That was uh, was my mistake to perform that stupid attack. I thought he would run into it. And yeah, I can basically I can dual wield the great club and the large club and still fast roll with this build. So I think that's that's hilarious. And it allows for a lot of weapons to use at the same time. Now I know a lot of people will say, man, you can just do menu switching, mid-fight, yeah, but you know what? I just like to have it like this. And besides, I don't know what kind of stats I should have invested in this build anyways. And on the other hand, I'm not really one of those guys who do all sorts of crazy stuff while playing the game. I just sit back, hold my controller in a completely normal way, no claw or anything that some people like to do. I don't do any reverse rolls or that kind of stuff. I do a little bit of menu switching every now and then, but it's not really my type of thing and that was a nice parry by the way. A little bit too predictable on the roll attack if I saw that correctly. Oh man, she'll switch to that weapon. Come on. I really want to, want to see the damage on that thing. Wow. Hey, see so you fucking up the toggle. I'm still not good with that. I need to. I need to pay more attention. But then again, I didn't play a lot recently. I really didn't. I mean, that was a nice reverse rope backstep, by the way. And he finishes me with the wake up combustion. More like Black Flame, actually. But yeah, that's okay. I don't mind it. I know a lot of people will get mad or get pissed if they see something like a reverse roll backstab or a wake up Black Flame or whatever. I don't see any reason for that. You, you have invested the stats 
to have that black flame and to have this and to have that and why not use it to, to your advantage right that's it I mean I invested a lot of points in endurance so I'm gonna count at him with a lot of different weapons at the same time without doing menu switching and I've got decent poise and all that stuff it's it's all part of the build as simple as that so if you complain about anything your opponent does never never forget it's part of the build oh that was nice man that was nice I remember that. I, I remember that getting some smack talk from in the chat for that. Oh, I don't know why that. I, actually, I don't know why that didn't hit me. That pancake was also really close. And something you notice um, now, I have to say in advance. Frog is, of course, a very experienced PvP player. He he spends a lot of time in PvP. And as a result, he is a very good player, like I said before. But that Golem makes special attack, man. I got him so many times with that. <laughs> that was perfect. Right? <laughs> I got him so many times with that special attack. It, it's 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 funny if you think about it, because you can read it so easily. But I think. You never see that weapon in action in in your daily PvP. You, you never see anybody use that weapon because it sucks ass. Actually, it's it's weak. It weighs like I think 16 units, and there's really nothing to to justify that weight, man. But that special attack, man, I got it so many times with it, and I think it's just uh, the weapon just caught him off guard, I think. I mean, I think I would get hit by that weapon a lot if somebody used it against me, because I'm simply not used to to, to fighting it, or, or even to just to see it used against me. It's It's definitely interesting. And by the way, that special attack only takes like uh, 20 endurance, uh, 20 endurance, I say, 20 durability, so that's okay. Oh, and I think I remember what's coming now. Yeah, he grasses, and I kill him, and if you've been paying attention to the gameplay, usually we don't hit each other doing the mid-fight grass. But well, I, I thought he would go for a wings for a ring switch. Now, so I wanted to keep the pressure up with the crossbow. Yeah, that wasn't at that, that angle. I think that saved him from the parry, actually. Uh, and he's getting me pretty good right now with the combo. And like I said, I I'm not gonna complain about anything. But one thing I do not understand is Black Flame. There's... I don't know, I fail to see the point to that a Pyromancy, because it is basically Great Combustion only with a higher Poise Break, so... It is... What is it? it it's Is it OP? I don't think it's OP, but... I don't know if they both deal the same damage, I think they do. I'm not sure, I think they both also deal fire damage. Only one of them has more poise break than the other one, but there is like a no benefit to, com to great combustion if you have a black flame. I mean, it's not like black flame takes two achievement slots, right? It's, it's basically the same, only better. And also I think the stamina drain is higher, so, but that could... Uh, actually, I don't know if uh, higher poise break means more stamina drain. I think you could say that. Oh, that was actually really close. The iframe saved me there <laughs> really good. Oh, again, a nice parry there. 
So yeah, this build I'm using right here to get back to the build and it's really fun. And I think we're almost at the end of the video already, god damn it. Too short. I was afraid the video would turn out too long because I had so many clips and I just couldn't decide which ones to delete, but it appears those fights were pretty pretty short. Uh, one thing Frog said afterwards uh, was that that he he got parried so many times he more than he usually gets parried so he told me that this this showed him how predictable he is sometimes with the running attacks because I really parried him a lot of times with those and I obviously noticed how bad I still am with the toggles. So yeah, also I want to take this opportunity right now to, to thank you Throg for, for the session of matches, for this opportunity to, to have a look at my gameplay compared to somebody who is no doubt better than me. And it was a lot of fun. These fights were really, really cool. I really enjoyed them a lot. I hope we can do that again sometime. And I hope you had fun as well, but I think you did. And the reason why I'm addressing you right now is because I know you're going to watch the video anyways. And so yeah, if you expected me to say something like, oh, what is so OP and stuff, blah, blah, blah. No, nope, man, no, man, gonna happen. So, GG, I think this is the end of the video. Yes, it is. So once again, thanks for the awesome duels, Frog. And thanks everybody else for watching. Hope you enjoyed, hope it was fun to watch and I'll catch you guys in more souls.